Right, hello everybody and welcome to a new video here today. So, I just completed Champs and, well, I was going to make a video on it, but, well, you could barely hear me. So, I guess, well, no gameplay here today. So, we'll just have the rewards. The rewards were quite good, I must say. Better in the packs than the reds. So, yeah, let's get straight into the rewards. As I'm editing this, I realise how bad and how quiet I sounded so I'm just gonna do a voiceover for this because well I really doubt you would want to hear me there because well you couldn't hear me so we open our first pick and get LaFont the man I absolutely hate I used to use him and he pretty much couldn't save a, a P rolling at him Mainly because peas are small, but you get the point. Then in the next pick, really nothing better in Cliver. Only if that was the icon Cliver, but it happens to be his son. So Clivert and Lafont, not as good as my last week, which which was Martinelli and 87 rated Spanish striker. Insert picture of him here. Next we move on to the packs, which I'm pretty sure were a lot better. 100k and 50k. We get a full walk, walkout career left bid, which is Son. And also, I'm pretty sure he's the most expensive tradable player I've actually ever had. At this point at least. At 50 something k, all my good players are untradable. Mbappe, Pele all those anyway into the 100k pack will it be any better than this 50 the short answer is no of course not the more expensive pack is never better than the cheaper pack getting tiago silver there and ginter so only a couple of boards meanwhile the 50k had a lot better had more better players in it this was the team i used in champs this weekend it performed very well david being 100 percent better than mbappe don't know how but the canadian r9 pulls through absolutely so anyway I hope you enjoyed this video here today. I hope you consider liking and possibly even subscribing. It would mean a lot and make my day. Goodbye.